sponsor, Husband of the Cell. I'm from Norway, but I'm also now a Longo. So, uh, that's me. Hi, I'm Lizelle Tomte. Um, originally, I'm Lizelle Sobreverga Tomte. Okay. So, I am actually you know, from Santa Barbara, Bicilla. And of course, when I met Bjorn, so I used actually you know, to live also in Norway for almost 16 years. Tangara na kami sa Norway. Nakita na mo ng Norwegian, actually, kagang iba nga ito ganas yun. They're more into really, you know, natural products. They're really into, you know, wellness at the time, pagsugod na mo. They said, okay, why not? So, pinaka-advocacy yan na mo, okay, syempre, wellness, we are really, you know, an advocate, you know, of health, you know, based from the natural products. And I think one of the biggest, you know, factors or one of the biggest actually, you know, encouragement sa kabuhi namon why we produce, you know, these products because we believe that these products can also help the health, you know, of the consumers. We are not really selling the, the tea, the oil, the bars, but we are selling health. And, and yeah. we are selling health and wellness because that corresponds to our own life. And you know, our products actually, you know, is the reflection, you know, of our, you know, lifestyle. First, we have the tea, tea products. The herbal tea comes in boxes and also in pouches. Uh, we have eight variants of this. So they are selling in the supermarkets in the Philippines, in the Panay. Negros, Cebu, Cagayan, and also now from next week going to Manila. Bohol also. Bohol is also Alturas supermarket. SM. And then Cut they are also Alturas. selling in uh, Singapore. Uh, in Norway, we are selling the same teas, uh, but they are in jars. We don't have the jar here, but uh, anyway, they are selling in jars because they prefer to try with uh, this uh, form, but they were not selling much. So we sell it in jars. So that's the tea product, they are the main products. Then the virgin coconut oil, we are not exporting. This virgin coconut oil is being sold also in the Ilulu supermarket and the SM supermarket, just the same markets as the tea. And they are, the sales of this one is increasing and increasing. So now we are trying to still look for more sources of coconut. Another category of product is the snacks. We have the snacks bars. We have four variants now. Black rice, peanut butter, chewy granola, uh, sesame peanut, and fruit and nuts. Uh, we are actually not yet uh, introducing it to the market because we are waiting for the pre-printed film, which is now in Cebu. Uh, so next week we will be starting to introduce these products to the supermarket. Um, we also just recently we have developed also cho chocolate in a small scale. So that is also something that we are going to develop more because uh, of the high demand for chocolate products. Classic, it's a very classic, you know, chocolate. Everybody eats chocolate. So these are our categories. So herbal teas, coconut products, snacks products, and then body care products. Uh, these boxes, they retail for about 130 pesos. They are 10, 20 sachets of 10 grams each. The pouches are for the same price, but they are a little bit cheaper because uh, there's no sachet, so that's 250 grams. Sells for also 130. The virgin coconut oil sells for 145 to 150, depending on whether it is Panay or Negros or Cebu per bottle. And then the snacks products sell for 20, 23 pesos per bar, about 35 grams bar. The, bot, the VCO is 250 ml. The chocolate products is not yet in the market. They are, they are to be introduced. So the prices are not yet there. That's, you know, 1,005 tons of ginger, you know, a month, mm -hmm. monthly. 1,500, also 1 1.5 tons, also, you know, of turmeric, you know, monthly. Mm -hmm. And of course, sa coconuts naman yaya, at least, you know, 
uh, sa isa naman niya yata yeah, bulan, you know, we can able, you know, to have at least, I think, you know, 7,500 coconuts. Sa isa ka bulan. Wherein, nga ini siya, si coconuts, yung patigayunan, kami ni Ma'am Pes, definitely sa mga source, you know, kaya right after, sa nga mong malaan niya, nga pagka-failure sa sigma, nga ganyo lang dahan, uh, we had our time finding, you know, the source of raw materials. The beginning was, of course, to find a market. We have been struggling to find market for many, many years. But uh, as of lately, we have a big enough market. So it is not really a big issue anymore. But uh, of course, lately, the logistics is the big problem. But that's hopefully temporary. Also, when we, are going, when we were selling to the customers that uh, needed organic certification. Organic certification is a big challenge. There's a lot, a lot of paperwork to be done and it's also very expensive. Uh, in terms of raw materials, uh, it is occasional. Sometimes the raw materials are very costly, like ginger fluctuates from maybe 30 or 40 and it goes very high. So the, that is also a challenge. Uh, now we are already starting to cultivate our own ginger. Same with turmeric is uh, not so difficult because it uh, doesn't seem to be such a hot item. Um, uh, Calamansi also has the same problem with the fluctuation of price as, as has raw sugar. Uh, so this price fluctuation is a challenge. Why actually, you know, um, are we accepted sa Norway, sa VCO? Uh, Somehow, siguro, you know, we are lucky nga uh, damo competition sa VCO. Uh, they came from other places also in the world. Pero, nakursunadahan ang kwalidad niya kagandasa. I think, you know, of the sponsorship, you know, of DA, Department of Agriculture, I think, uh, IFEX. Yeah. We could, yeah. we could able to get also, so, you know, the Singapore market. In the we were able to get in contact with a Singaporean buyer and uh, they buy not big but uh, they are increasing the orders so now we are actually having an order here ready to ship unfortunately the situation now is that some raw materials are delayed but as soon as it is there we will ship um, just our third, third shipment but yes uh, we are, there's a challenge now of course with the logistics uh, I also should uh, give credit to the OST because through them we are able to get the uh, set up. We joined the setup program which uh, was enable, uh, enabling us to have uh, machineries to increase our production capacity and also number of products. And DPI also has helped us through many trainings. Management and, uh, trainings. Uh, they, they were able to uh, help us in marketing also in different ways, uh, plus uh, no increase our knowledge, business knowledge. How did we manage during the COVID-19 uh, situation? Well, actually, uh, I, I would say first, we are blessed. To have you know, all this. Uh, our operation is related to food, food and beverage, and uh, people have to eat, they have to drink. Our particular products, like the VCO, turmeric, ginger, all these <coughs> products, people know that they are very good for health, they know that they are good for strengthening the immune system. So, actually, our sales went up <laughs> instead of down. And then, because of that blessing, we decided to share. So, we have been actually helping some of these, our own baranga and the baranga of the school of our Three daughter barangas. and also the baranga where she grew up. So those three barangas we helped distributing rice and eggs and so on to share some of the blessings. So uh, actually the, the main uh, challenge during COVID was in the logistics part because when we had shipments had too much delay. There was a shipment uh, from uh, General Santos that delayed two months. So that was quite serious. Uh, so other also it takes time to get the materials and uh, so on. So those are the main challenges there, the, the logistics part. We give much better price for the coconuts than the copra, copra buyers do. That's why more and more farmers want to sell to us. And uh, uh, for the 
local community. I mean, we have all employ uh, all all our employees they live here in this barangay. So we have we are supporting the life livelihood of 17 families just as an employer employees. So both for the employees and also from our uh, 18, sources, 18. Uh, the farmers and and there we are we are then of course contributing to the community in that way by giving them livelihood. So, uh, no, so farmers, man, of course, you know, we bought a lot uh, of raw materials. It's volume of share. It's a good And the pre-show is quite also, you know, fair. Marketing and also, you know, more trainings. And the source of raw materials. Oh, yes, the source of raw materials. Black rice, cacao. Uh, Coconut and we will probably be dealing more. Kaya kung ma-stabilize man, tani ko lang iya, ma-presyo ba lang. Hindi man, pagpatamaan man nila kami ng mga producer. Trainings also, you know, sa products development because we know nga there are so many raw materials diri sa ato niya iya na hindi pa siya fully utilized. Kung magamit na naman nato ang mga black rice, kay nami na niya nga benefits, you know, that's, you know, uh, anti-cancer, you know, and of course, you know, the health benefits of it is good. So, why couldn't we promote it? You know, the same also, you know, with calamansi. You know, we could promote, you know, better than that, and we could make maybe, you know, a better product than that. So, after 19 years of uh, doing business, we finally are getting hang of it. But, uh, certainly, we have many goals further, you know, to, uh, to be achieved. And uh, you know, like uh, we we want to expand more and more with, with the next within the next five years at least. We we, sh we should experience an expansion. The goal is also you know to increase you know uh, our market, uh, the sales you know, but at, uh, at least you know even you know just twenty percent you know yearly. So we could able also you know to propagate you know our own farm again, and not only that. But, you know, to help also more farmers, if we could able also, you know, to increase our, you know, market sales, we could able also to help some of the farmers to also, you know, sell their products o kung the raw material someone. Kag mabuhin buhinan man kahit papaano ang problema sa ibang nga tao, not everybody but at least. So, sa kalooy, saan Diyos actually na pa, saya yan. So, damo-damo mo kami nga mga mga nga nabulikan. Ginatos man sila during this COVID-19, you know. Uh, you can uh, uh, describe our journey in four breaks. Breaking the ground, breaking the head, breakthrough. No, breaking the ground, breaking the head. Your emotion. Break even, then breakthrough. Okay, that's what we're we break. between the break even and breakthrough stage. <laughs>